Hello, this is Vince. I want to talk about ultra-low frequency radio waves and earthquakes. The uh, ultra-low frequency range is essentially the same as audio frequency. It's about uh, 300 hertz to 3000 hertz. Uh, but there are lower, one, lower frequencies too. Um, super low frequency is 30 to 300 hertz and extra low frequency is 3 to 30 hertz because earthquakes produce waves in those frequencies and some people thought they would uh, be able to predict earthquakes by monitoring these ultra low frequencies. Um, the other things happen in the in these low frequency bands besides earthquakes. The, the big thing is what they call the morning chorus. It's um, like lightning strikes in Brazil, for example, uh, will will cause a, a burst of static electricity and uh, that travels along the magnetic lines of the of the earth, the magnetic field of the earth, and it comes to the from the southern atmosphere to the northern atmosphere and because some waves travel faster than others, um, when you hear it in the northern atmosphere, it sounds like a chirp, like "wing, wing, wing." Here's a receiver that can receive um, frequencies in this range, and uh, I have one. That, I don't know if they even make them anymore, but um, I walked around with this, and you'll notice three things. One is there's a tremendous 60 cycle hum, and um, when you walk with this, it's got a little uh, whip antenna on it. You can actually hear your footsteps because there's a change in capacitance between your body and the earth as you're walking. And you can hear these chirps and you can hear the hum. There's all kinds of strange sounds. So what happens when an earthquake occurs, there's a piezoelectric effect. There's also metals in the ground. And the, the earthquake will squeeze the quartz crystals and create tremendous, tremendous uh, electromagnetic waves. And you can hear this. It turns out they thought maybe the these these waves could predict earthquakes, but the actuality is that the the earthquake itself is causing these these uh, waves. So you get a burst of electricity, electromagnetic pulse, and it disturbs the Earth's magnetic field, and it'll actually ring. The whole Earth will ring with these low frequencies after a large earthquake. And in the 90s there was a, a big uh, push to use these electromagnetic waves to predict earthquakes. Here's one reference here, the, what they call it the Van method. Um, and several books came out on that subject. Since I was interested I wrote an article for a radio monitoring magazine called Monitoring Times. I'm not sure they're around anymore but I wrote I wrote up a little article on that in the uh, in the 90s there. I also had a, sh a group of ham radio operators that were looking to monitor these low frequencies <clears throat> and I had a newsletter associated with that. There's only a few dozen people <clears throat> actually made the monitors so like most of my project that didn't go very far. <laughs> uh, now though you can f you can um, buy these kits especially software defined radio and you can buy a, a module it's called the New Electric ULF module, and you can actually monitor ULF frequencies with this. So that's a whole new burgeoning field. Um, I haven't gotten into it yet. It's one of my ten dozen or so projects that I have to get around to. Anyway, it's fine. It's an interesting, an interesting field. I've listed some references here. KK6, Golf Call Charlie, Vince, Sing 73.